All right, time now for a, uh, a longer look at the weather here. Meteorologist Jesse Hawila back with us. We, we walked downstairs. I walked downstairs a moment ago. Didn't realize we're wearing the same tie, almost the same outfit, except my suit's a, a little bit bluer than yours. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was going to tell you, you know, orange tie is much. bad fashion. It, is it really? Mm -hmm. That's why we're both wearing one today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so right. we, we, we just we just heard from Carolyn King Arnold, the deputy mayor pro tem there. She's hoping for some some decent weather. It's going to be clear, but cold or cool. It, it'll be cool. You know, so it, it'll be the high. We're going to be briefly in the low 60s tomorrow afternoon. Mm. We'll be so by this time tomorrow, we're going to be in the upper 50s. It's going to be breezy. It's not bad. Take a jacket if you go to that. Day. Yeah, it, it's going to feel like December today. Does not feel like December, and I think that's making some of you happy. Uh, 77 at Fair Park right now with gust of 21. Right now, DFW is at 79, but I was saying earlier, we tied a record high, the record high 80 degrees, set back in 1977. Uh, we hit that today. It doesn't look like we're going to break that record, but we certainly tied it. We'll see. The day's not over. South wind's still at 17 miles an hour. Little math for anybody uh, not from Texas. Strong southerly winds plus December equals high mountain cedar. It's really bad today because what happens is you get these strong southerly winds and it brings in all of the, the pollen, the mountain cedar pollen from the hill country of Texas. So that's probably the, uh, that's the issue of Texas as if we're not in Texas. Just used to saying it. 63 Saturday. That 63 is, is briefly in the early afternoon. By late afternoon, evening, we're in the upper 50s. A cold front gets in overnight tonight. Uh, it'll really show by Sunday. We wake up to temperatures in the middle 30s. And with that, strong winds means wind chill values in the upper 20s early Sunday morning with a high Sunday afternoon of only 54. There's that morning cloud cover we had uh, that has kind of moved off to East Texas. It's now into Louisiana and Arkansas. Cold front to our northwest, which you can't see right now. Uh, it's not picking up any rain or anything like that. But there it is around 7 o'clock. It'll be in the Metroplex overnight tonight. We'll put it right across the Dallas-Fort Worth area about 4 a.m. It'll move through the Metroplex before sunrise. It's in eastern portions of North Texas by 8 o'clock. The rain chance stays with it. So because it is through the Dallas-Fort Worth area at 8 o'clock in the morning, we don't have rain in the forecast for the Metroplex and most of North Texas. The rain chance stays in East Texas. Uh, in the afternoon evening, thunderstorms will erupt. Some of those could be strong to severe, especially into Louisiana and Arkansas. That's where the level 2 risk is. Now, you know, if the front slows down a little bit, and pulls back a little bit. That gives us at least a very low end chance. That's a level one on a one to five uh, for a couple strong storms from eastern Hunt County down through eastern Navarro County. My gut feeling is here, this is gonna be removed from all of North Texas by this update tomorrow. So I'm not expecting thunderstorms for most of North Texas, but eastern portions at least will have that chance. That leaves us with a breezy, like I showed you, cool, sunny Sunday. Tonight, patchy fog is possible. Uh, cool, breezy, 52 degrees with mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, 63. It's a cooler day, a breezy day, sunshine. And the next 14. The first seven, really not bad for this time of the year. Pretty close to normal uh, overall. Low 60s Monday, Tuesday. Uh, upper 50s Wednesday, Thursday. Another chance for some scattered showers and storms next Friday. And then we get into the other half of the 14 day. Rather quiet. What's it about Friday in the rain chances, by the way? There is another Friday with a chance of rain. Uh, overall, no major Arctic plunges. Uh, I don't see any other warm ups that'll bring us to 80 degrees either. Just kind of a standard looking December forecast.